Right, so today we're looking at a very small uh, pocket camera and uh, Agfa Optima pocket sensor. And this is the Optima 5000 model. And of course it has a very nice box with a nice layout. What makes this camera special is that it uses the 110 film format, which means it can be very small. And here is an example of how small the film actually is. This film came with the camera, but unfortunately it is fully exposed, so I have no use of it as such, but it is possible to take out the old film, develop it, put in new film and, well, yeah, try the camera. But it requires some surgery and have to be done in complete dark, so it's not so easy to do actually. But I will still try to do it because I really want to try to use this camera. And yeah, it could be fun to see what is actually on these photos if I manage to, to develop them correctly, that is. Sometimes these old cameras require quite weird batteries and, well, you're supposed to be able to find the ones for this camera, but I used uh, three uh, 44LR batteries and I just added a spacer in between to fill out the gap. So that works as well. You just need to have three batteries, which provide 1.5 volts and it should work. And then to enter the film, well, then you need to first of all, manage to find one of these 110 film cartridges, preferably with unexposed film in them, and then just enter it here and close the back. Yeah. And then this uh, square here will tell you what frame number you're on. And this means that the film is fully exposed. So how do you use this camera? Well, it is quite simple. First you need to open it and you do it by sliding this plastic knob here and it comes out. And now you can look through the viewfinder and, well, take your shot. But before you take any photos, you need to check that the auto exposure is correct. When you have pressed the shutter, there should be a LED shining in the viewfinder, probably not visible on this camera, but if it shines red, then it will underexpose. If it's green, then it will expose correctly. And also it can be good to focus and that is done with the help of this wheel. And you have different settings for different distances set. When you're ready to take your photo, you just press the big red button, quite easy. <laughs> and then to load to the next frame, you just push it in and it comes back out again and, and you're ready for another photo. Yeah. But if you continue doing like this, it will not continue advancing the film. It just continue advances after you have fired the shutter again. So that's quite, quite good. <laughs> and with this camera also came a flash, which goes into this uh, hot shoe here on the side. And actually this is quite nice design. It extends it and yeah, it fits very well together. <laughs> Yeah, overall quite nice camera system. If you actually happen to have flash cubes, you can use those also for flash. Yeah, you can see this rotates to switch the next flash cube into place. And also in the box there is this strap, but I will not take that out because it's a pain to get back in. Yeah, I did not get the instruction manual with this camera, but overall it's a quite complete set. So yeah, there's not so much more to say about this camera. It's a really simple pocket uh, 110 format camera and yeah, I really like how small it is and I look forward to testing it if I can manage to actually get some film into the cartridge. In any case, thank you for watching and see you in my next camera video. Bye!